Hello there my fellow royal enthusiasts, today's news. The news about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle continues to be the epicentre of world attention. And this time it is not for less, as the prodigal son of British royalty appears to be taking steps to repair broken ties with his family, while he is looking to rent a house near Kensington Palace. In the midst of headlines that narrate the crisis in his marriage with the former actress, this decision could be an attempt to return to his roots and reunite with his loved ones. Since their move to the United States in 2020, the main residence of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex has been their luxurious mansion in Montecito, California. They no longer have a home in the United Kingdom, since Charles III decided to evict them from Frogmore Cottage. However, despite their move to the other side of the Atlantic, the shadow of British royalty has never completely left the couple. Harry and Meghan's departure from the firm has been followed by a series of ups and downs in their relationship with the rest of the British royal family. Now, with the alleged rental in Kensington, the question on everyone's lips is whether this marks an attempt by the couple to rebuild ties with the Windsors or if, on the contrary, it represents another step towards a life separate from Meghan. The change of residence is not just a matter of physical location, but also something of a symbolic act, as Harry seems to be looking for a gesture that speaks a thousand words by establishing a UK base of operations close to his brother Prince William and his sister-in-law Princess Catherine. The Duke of Sussex hopes this move can smooth over any acrimony and demonstrate a genuine desire for reconciliation. Duncan Larcombe, an expert on royal affairs, considers that this choice of residence can be interpreted as a significant gesture towards family reconciliation. While it hasn't been confirmed if Meghan will be moving in with Harry, the more low-key approach they've taken recently could be indicative of their effort to heal their wounds and forge a far more harmonious relationship with the royal family. After losing Frogmore, they need a base in the UK, and this is likely to be an occasional home and a place to stay when they're here, rather than something permanent, Larcombe said. But this is a clear sign that they are trying to make peace with the rest of the family, he adds. In addition, he noted the following. In the months since Harry's book Spare, which was published in January, we have seen a softening in Harry and Meghan's attitudes towards the rest of the royals, at least in keeping their mouths shut. We've had six months without saying anything about the royals to feed the beast, and time heals. That's a healthy sign because they have a long way to go to get back to the heart of the family with all the bridges they've burnt. Like, comment and subscribe for more. Goodbye for now.